Dr. Fauci once again under fire, accused of flip-flopping. The White House's top health expert now saying this about outdoor COVID transmission and mask guidelines. It's pretty common sense now that outdoor risk is really, really quite low, particularly, I mean, if you were a vaccinated person wearing a, wearing a mask outdoors, I mean, obviously the risk is minuscule. Reports say updated guidance on wearing masks outdoors from the CDC could arrive as early as tomorrow. Now, that comes as a new study suggests our social distancing rules may have been misguided from the very start. That study claims that standing apart at 60 feet is no safer than at 6 feet, and that exposure time indoors is actually far more important. <laughs> uh, Jesse, the CDC uh, changes guidelines as they get new information. We're now more than a year into this pandemic. Situations change. So isn't that reason to celebrate that they're being honest and straightforward? Yeah, like three months late, Juan. I was listening to Howard Stern this morning. He was talking about how he goes outside with his, be his wife, Beth, and they go on walks, and he wears a mask and his wife, Beth, doesn't. And he had on Dr. Agus, chief medical correspondent for CBS News, and he says, doctor, who's right? And the doctor says, there's two answers. There's the personal answer, and then there's the public policy health answer. Personal answer is sure. You don't have to wear a mask when you're vaccinated and you go outside. But the answer from a public policy health perspective is we want to continue to wear masks. The message is when you wear outside, you wear a mask. And that's the problem. There's a difference between telling the truth and messaging. And the American people don't want messaging anymore. We can go online and we can see the statistics. We see the numbers. We see the trends. We have all the studies. It's not like 20 years ago when you have to message us to death about <laughs> a war or, you know, a pandemic or anything like that. We get it. Like Fauci's on there the other day, yesterday, saying there's 60,000 new infections a day. I said, that sounds high. I checked it out. We're at 32,000 new infections a day. He's BSing us, and he's doing that to message us to death. We just want the truth, Dr. Fauci. So, Dagan, we are seeing a surge in rural communities, and especially, and this is a surprise to me, among younger people, people in like 30, 40, 50, higher rates of infection for them. So, you know, what are we to think about at this moment in dealing with the virus? If you've been vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask outside, period. If you've had the virus, I've got antibodies. When I go outside, I don't wear a mask. If the CDC comes out and says, hey, you've been vaccinated, don't wear a mask outside. This is the first time that they will have delivered tangible benefits to people. And it could get people to go and get vaccinated who are reticent to go and get the shot. What 22% said in the Fox News poll, they don't plan to get it. But in terms of messaging, I was sitting in the lobby of my building a few days ago and some dude was walking out and like, <gasps> and was shocked he didn't have a mask on. I went, you've been vaccinated, you don't need a mask outside. And he looked at me like I flashed him <laughs> and flashed him a reptilian undercarriage. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Greg. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. What an image, Dagan. Hey, look, look, looking to Fauci for leadership is like looking to the view for brain cells. It's, uh, it's that's not his role. Uh, and, and he's just there to just spout whatever he has to say. Uh, for example, they say now that, uh, what, 60 feet away is no safer than six feet. I anticipate the, anticipate the media saying, okay, we should stay 61 feet apart <laughs> just for the summer. 61 feet apart. I'll do it, too. I will do it. I'm with you, Dagan. I love walking around without my mask on. I can't tell if the people are reacting with the, pass, with the passing scowl because they recognize me <laughs> <laughs> or it's because I'm maskless. I think it's that. <laughs> so, Dana, uh, they're, they're saying in, it, shortly there'll be more vaccine than people who want to get the vaccinations. Shouldn't it, people just get vaccinated? Look, it's, I, it is a personal choice, but I think that it does provide you a lot of freedom and confidence. I walked around all day outside in New York City on Saturday. I didn't wear a mask. I didn't get one scowl. I didn't get one negative comment because I think people are realizing that it doesn't make sense anymore. I think the CDC 
knew this about masking outside and they have held the announcement yes. to give it to President Biden so that he yep. could do it on his first 100 days because he said on January 21st, I'm just going to ask you to do it for 99 days, guys. So tomorrow mm -hmm. at 1.30, watch, he's going to make this announcement. Last thing I would say is there is no rule that you have to do every Sunday show every week. You don't have to do it, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> okay. Take a day off. <laughs> All right. <laughs>